Hello and welcome to the channel and today's hunt. Well, I decided to use a YouTube research tool or something they put in studio to try and figure out what it is we should hunt today. And apparently a lot of my viewers are searching for recurve bow hunts and gray wolf hunts. So why not take the recurve bow and go after gray wolves? What could go wrong? So I'm joined by my friend Destroyer as we head off to Lintu Koto Reserve, take out the recurve bow and go for some gray wolves. And this one ends up becoming a bit, well, not as much frustrating as it is confusing, but more on that later. But first, let's get started with the hunt. I see wolves. You see wolves? Oh yeah, look, wolves. I've done a, a bad now, and that is trying to figure out how we're gonna get to those. I wanna be careful because I'm on a cliff edge. If we get to the bottom of this cliff, we should be in collar range. Like so That's the question, is how do we get to the bottom with the least amount of unexpected acceleration? Well, I see a quick red right here, I think. That might be unexpected acceleration. There is a method to this madness, and then I even see a path all the way down to where I'd like to sit. And there are 340 there, and that spot's 175, so we're actually gonna get him pretty close. I think we'll be fine. I think we'll be fine. It'll be fine. Uh-oh. Easy does it. Hold. Oof. He's going. He's going. He's going. He's going. What? That's not good. Oh my god. Well, no, he should still do That looks... No. What the hell happened there? Aim too low, maybe? I aimed high, actually, because I knew he would have been slightly further away. Stand, stand, stand on the spot for a second, would you? It was low. I uh -oh. am 25, you're 30. We could just go set up in these trees over here, or we could just sit here, wait for a minute. Uh, oh. We need to meander to cover and then just drop calls. We need to go live. No. What? That one's going. That one's going. I see. Yeah, he's dead. I see. The, I see Matt. I might have seen the second arrow when he turned. I can't. I got one sticking out the left side, but I guess that's the one I just shot. Oh, there he goes. Oh, that's good blood at least. I'm gonna feel bad because now I'm gonna freaking shoot two wolves just to get back the original. It does not sound like they went far. They really didn't. That's probably about 300 out. Uh. And we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna have to backtrace to get our wind back around him. He's got one arrow. Wait, it went through from the left. This is the broadhead sticking out. This is not him. This is yeah, one shot only. Left lung all the way through to liver, all the way through to intestines. Fifty-one percent adult. One star. Fifty-one. <laughs> Twenty-two meters. So I got the aim right, but uh, yeah, this is not. Ah, uh, it's not him. I'm gonna go back and find the other one. I see wolves. I oh. see the wolves up the oh. road. Up the out. Oh Look yeah, I see him. I see him. Yeah, they're almost in color range now. Yeah. They're wandering there. They're wandering there. Hell yeah. Okay. Oh, that's the whole thing. 
Oh, hold, hold, hold. Prone. That might be a problem. What the hell am I looking at? Is that thing a shadow or is that a melanistic? I need to get a better idea of what I'm looking at. I see what you're talking about. That is... That does look like a melanistic. You're right. Down hole. Fingers crossed. All right, let's see here. And this is also not him. What? This is a 54% mature two star. So still in that pack somewhere. Let's go get you your melanistic. Oh yeah, I heard. Yeah, but let's just watch him see where he goes. Failed stock, but gained information? Yeah. That's up the hill. Let's get in this group of trees right in front of us. I think you, I think that's where the one on the top left came from. I think, I think that's the one you called the first time and it just hadn't caught up to the rest of the pack yet. I'm gonna say we put down maybe one more call and then we swing left because we're burning up a lot of time here and we're not getting any vocalization. Swing left or just move up top on the top of this hill? Yeah, let's move up top first and see if we can spot anything. Slow and steady. And if, yeah, yeah, and if not, then we swing left. Ideally. That was a bear. Oh my. Oh, we were well, sneaking up. That, that's you we were you might have been calling in a bear by accident. Yeah. I uh, you got a lynx coming in. Alright. You have two lynx coming in. Oh my god, I can't make this up. I think you have three lynx coming in. Three? Yes, three. Oh my god, I can't make this up. There's a fourth lynx on mark. Scanning, scanning for fifth lynx. I thought they were supposed to be like really rare. Yeah, we do. Uh, that's a bear. Okay, so you have. Uh, don't worry, the bear's just passing you up, it looks like. So I had four lynx and a bear. Yes, no wolves. Wow. So a quick break to talk about what the heck just happened, because it does get a bit confusing. I cut out so much of us just sitting there and discussing it and trying to figure out what happened. So let me see if I can get it all on paper for you. So we end up with a bit of a western wind, right? So we decide to start at this outpost and basically kind of bunny hop from mountaintop to mountaintop because apparently I'm part house cat and I need altitude in order to see my surroundings. Now we don't even make it all the way to the peak here before Destroyer spots wolves in this valley down here. So we head down and I proceed to fumble my first shot. We see the wolves run off in this direction. That's an arrow. Isn't that a beautiful arrow? $50 on a Wacom tablet, still can't draw. Anyways, so we decide to go after the wolves. Now we end up making it to somewhere around here when Destroyer hears wolves across the road. Now, I don't remember if it was before this or after this, but there was a little bit of debate as to whether or not two wolves came into the high fitness call out of this first engagement. I believed it to be one, but we weren't quite sure. This comes into play later, as I believe that this is the same pack. Destroyer calls a wolf in, and I get a kill right on the road here. And if I watch back that footage ever so slightly, I do see a second wolf running from the pack. We're trying to use that as an identifier. If more than one wolf responds, we're looking at the wrong pack, or so we believe. 
We cross to collect the wolf and then hear wolves again somewhere in this area. So we decide to go back again, trying to keep that wind in our favor and end up spotting the pack down here. As we set up to try and engage this pack and the calls start, Destroyer actually spots a Melanistic heading back in this direction. While he's giving the calls, a wolf actually comes up from this pack approaching this way and we start to get calls suggesting a wolf is approaching from this way. At that time, it's my belief that this is the same pack as this pack and that this was a different pack. So I should ignore this wolf and go for this wolf. But two wolves responded out of here and only one wolf responded out of here. So it's actually my belief that this was the secondary wolf from behind this pack over here and this was the pack I might have been looking for. Either way, drop another wolf, collect it, and we decide to pursue the Melanistic. We make it back over to about here when we hear the wolves hanging out on this hillside here and proceed to put calls down and see what comes in. Now I'm pretty sure Destroyer did the full range gambit of calls, whether it was just a jackrabbit caller to get everything or if he just did a hodgepodge of all of them just to cover all bases. But I cut it out. Uh, you could only see one wolf really well on footage, but in fact like four or five wolves actually came in on that first one. And when he didn't see the Melanistic, he let him go and we followed the wolves as they headed back up this way. We then proceeded down to the edge of the valley where we originally spotted that first group and Destroyer then sees the Melanistic again up on the hill over here. At least I think that's the direction he was looking, but it was up on the hill. He proceeds to put calls down as he loses sight of the Melanistic and one wolf comes in from this direction and then again a wolf from this direction. My belief at the time is that this wolf on the left was from the pack with the Melanistic and the wolf on the right was from my group because again, that's the direction we saw them run. Because neither the Melanistic nor one with an arrow sticking out of his chest arrived, went ahead and moved on without taking either wolves. So might have been that that wolf over there was mine. We end up going up the hill where I stay up here in hopes of being able to see the entire area. And he actually heads down to some trees over here. And that's where we ended up getting the wonderful little splot engagement of not three, but four lynxes, and then, come to find out later, two bears. But no wolves, despite hearing something else that was moving around down over here. So with not coming across the Melanistic there and starting to run out of daylight, decided to go back to square one. Now originally, saw the pack run off this way. So we decided to grab an ATV from down here and head up the road, because at this point the wind had actually turned, and now was blowing slightly more south. That's, uh, Again, one of my beautiful arrows. Here we go, we'll do that. That's a person falling. I don't, there we go, falling person, why not? Point is, we end up, the idea of going up here to cut back left, we made it about five foot from the ATV, and this happens. Oh, hey, a lynx. Okay. What happened? I don't know. I know I can't complain about your driving skill, but the fact that it's on fire is a sign. Hey, that's good news. Yeah. We could move up, like this line of trees to our left, we could move up to the tip of it. Let's wait for one more call and just see if they're at all closer. You think we meander up? Ah, uh, yeah, let's just kind of creep up about, I'd say to this next set of bushes here that's like 40 up. Nope, well. nope, 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 pull back. When you think you should, don't. I see one coming over the ridge. Oh, yep, yep, yep. <gasps> what? <No. sighs> On the plus side, I didn't see an arrow in him, so if it wasn't a passer, that wasn't him. Oh, 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 left in the field, left in the field. I think he's just wandering off. But he's gonna get into our wind.
I did not see an arrow in any of those. for me not being able to hear footsteps. Oh, I see it. Thing is, though, we know they passed through that field. Yeah. In theory, if we repeat the same path we did today, but be patient and stay in that field, we could potentially get both targets. Yeah. I think that might be worth a, an attempt. So back to the cabin, get food, and... Give that a shot. All right, so there you have it. So <laughs> it just, just keeps getting better. We end up, uh, where were we? Oh, I'm actually off. Okay, it's actually off. We ended up over here. So we end up with wolves that came in from over here and then proceeded to flee left. We head back towards the ATV when wolves are heard and spotted going this direction, as well as there apparently being wolves over here. Not sure if that's the wolves that were there coming back or a different group or what. The idea is now, okay, we know that both packs went through this valley at some point. Get back up here, look at this valley. So now again, the wind is facing a little bit more south than usual, so we decide to go from this campsite and head up the mountain this way in hopes to see down here again. Oh my god, they are right there. Okay, here we go. Let's try this again. Alright, say the word. The calls will go down. Uh, word. Good, good, good blood. Good blood. Oh, yeah. He's down. <laughs> kind of just want to see what they do for a second. I just need to take a breath. <laughs> Got him, dude. Laugh my ass off if he doesn't have another arrow in him. All right, let's see. It is the wolf. Shot one was like, I don't know, probably eight inches low and through the front left leg. But shot two was left lung, left lung liver. Dang. It, are you kidding me? It's a young male at 61% a one star. <laughs> we just hunted two days for this son of a one star. First shot was 31 meters and I zeroed for 20. So that's, that's, yeah. But yeah, 46 pound-ish, 23 kilogram, 61% young male. Uh, let's turn this into a win by getting you your Mela. So now I've gotten my wolf. Wow, all this, all of this for a hey, one star. But you know what? At least I didn't leave a wounded wolf out there. Like somebody I know. More on that later. But now it's time to go for the Melanistic. Now Destroyer at this point doesn't have full confidence in my plan of just sitting here and decides that he wants to be able to see further. Fun little thing is that we, I can actually see from the top of this mountain clear to over like this ridge line and even part of this ridge line from on top of this mountain here. So Destroyer ends up setting up somewhere on top of this mountain over here. I'm on top of this mountain over here and we're overlooking each other's areas. The only thing I end up seeing is one little wolf going this way. At least I think it was a wolf. Uh, it's really hard to see that far without a spotting scope. Developers, please, someday have an entire storyline about hunting safety and not using the rifle as a hunting scope, but then you put the most powerful optic on a rifle and give me only a 10 by set of binos and then give us the ability to overlap our render ranges to where I can see two kilometers away. What am I supposed to do with that? I'm gonna end up using the rifle as a hunting scope, except I don't because I want to be responsible and I'm going on a rant. Anyways, so while daylight's burning on this second day and we're glassing around and not seeing anything, I hear more howls, except they're coming from down over here. So I go back to the position I was originally spotting from for Destroyer and decide to glass this entire side of the hill. Boy, what a good chance it is that I did that. <gasps> it's 
Melly huh? spotted. On mark. Okay. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't like that. I honestly don't know how they haven't smelled me yet. Rifle out. Eyes on Melly. Going prone. Okay. <sighs> Dead. I know I said I wouldn't go for it, but I went for that hard shot. I think I sunk it. I think you sunk it too, bud. I think you sunk it too. Holy crud. That was tough because there was one behind it. Yeah, but I think you're good. I didn't hit it. I didn't hit the one behind it. Holy jeez. Oh yeah, I hit that heart shot. Heart double lung pass. Our hold the hole right there. Perfect. Adult 49%. Got it. Two day yeah. hunt. Look at that thing. That's I got bad life. news for you, buddy. What? Look down. You hit that other wolf. That other wolf is wounded. Yeah, here's the trail. There it is. He can have it. It's a souvenir. He can have it. It's a souvenir. Wow, that's responsible. And there you have it. We got the melanistic. Well, Destroyer got the melanistic. And some other lucky wolf has run off in this direction and has a souvenir, as he calls it. Unfortunately, I was completely out of time. It was one of those things where we needed to get it done and get it done quick. And that was the option we had. So we did not uh, pursue this wolf. It's out there somewhere. Still, as a bullet, souvenir. Not frustrating, as much as complicated. Does the picture help? I have no idea. To me, I'm looking at this now going, this is a freaking mess. I don't think this explains anything. All I did was doodle. But hopefully you enjoyed the video because there's buttons if you did, buttons if you didn't. And as always, buttons to push, until next time, for those of you who don't know the origin of that outro, the buttons to push if you do is the subscribe and like buttons, right? I feel like most people know that and that doesn't need iteration, but considering I'm going to have to pull the standard old YouTube card of, well, actually, let me look this up. 21%, 21%, one fifth of you. For every five of you that watch this video, four of you aren't subscribed. Now, of course, granted, I don't understand if that's you watched the whole thing or you clicked on for 10 seconds, said this guy sucks and clicked off, but whatever it is. If you do like it, the buttons to push, yeah, subscribe, like, it helps. Anyways, that's it. See you next time.